Okay, here we go. Now there are a few ways you can do this. First, you can do what I just did, like, you know, fake the logs. But the easiest way is just this. I'm going to the global criminal database, hacking into it, Log in. Yada yada yada. I don't even care if they're tracing me because I can go through this stuff so fast. So no need to bother with the monitor bypass. Oh, we do need to use a proxy bypass though. Now this is how you do it. First, you find out the name of the person you need to get rid of. Alex Jones, okay? So, authorize arrest. Rejected? A suspect must have two prior convictions and must have broken parole before an arrest can be authorized remotely? Okay. So what is he convicted of? Um, random crime. Another random crime. And breaking parole. Authorize arrest. Well, that was awfully easy. Disconnect. As usual, it's a log leader to the rescue. And lastly, we have one more mission to do. Elite agent required for destruction of computer system. Okay, and I'll show you how to destroy a computer system when we do this. Okay. Ah, uh, Gareth Fireburn's personal computer. I don't need that anymore. That was just, uh, that person I needed to frame. So I can get rid of that. We need to go into Broadband Corporation Central Mainframe. Okay, load as usual. And connect right here. Computer you tried to access will not ex accept external connections. Only connections from trusted internal systems will be allowed to connect. Oh. Oh, we need to route it through a trusted system owned by the same company. Okay, so it's broadband. Okay. So this is what we do. As usual, internet is quite useful. That's how it works with central mainframes, by the way. You have to route it through. So we need to... I forgot the name of it already because i am got a bad memory. Broadband. Let's use a public access server. In fact, we need to go there if you want to break into a central mainframe anyway. Okay. Alex Jones. Whoa, isn't he... Didn't we just do something with him? Oh! Oh! He's the guy that we just um, decided to have arrested. Well, we'd uh, better make sure that we call him this way immediately before he gets arrested. Although, oddly, I believe they will answer their phones even if they were arrested. So, go figure. Maybe it's a different Alex Jones. Whatever. So, um, here's what we need to do to hack into a mainframe. Again, we need to route it through something owned by the same company. But first, we need to success... But we also need to get, uh, the voice print, or whatever you call it, of the purse of the administrator. So go over here, choose other, voice analyzer. Actually, it's better to get the voice analyzer open first, but I always forget. Open answer. Hello? Hi. Hello? Did you hear me? Who's there? I'm right here. Hello? Huh. Maybe I wasn't being loud enough. But whatever. We got the, uh, we got this, didn't we? So now we can play it back if necessary. Okay, so load. I'm going to move this down here. Okay, we um first we're going to undo that. We need to find the uh, the Broadband Corporation uh, public access server, wherever it is. Ah, uh, here it is. So now it's routed through here. Pretty simple. Okay, user ID password verification. Pretty simple. Oh, I've... And now we go here. Hello. I am the system administrator. My 
voice is my passport. Very fine. Okay, simple enough. Now, uh, where were we? We've, um... Oh yeah, we need to bypass some stuff. Too late for the monitor bypass, but hey, it's not f hacking unless there's a bit of a risk. Although there is even if we do bypass the monitor, so I'm not sure where I was going with that. But who cares? I don't. You care? I don't. So, we need to destroy this computer system. So, we go to the console, and this is exactly what you need to do to destroy it. CD USR. Delete. CD SYS. Delete. Shut down. And that's how you destroy a computer system. Because, of course, they didn't think of making backups. Why do people not make backups? I don't get that. You. You should be listening. You should be getting backups. In fact, this is a public service announcement as to why you need backups. I'm not, uh, doing this just for the money or prestige. I'm doing it so you know you need to back things up, just in case some hacker comes to your computer. As you might notice, destroying it takes a while, but it does do it. Okay, now let's get the log deleter ready. As always, go to... Whoops, I didn't want to go to the uplink public access, I wanted to go to internet. There we go. Now let's check out the uh, new server and see if this stuff gets into the news. In computer fraud crime. Ah, yeah. For breaking parole after two prior convictions. That's uh, this one, right? Perfect. My neuromancer is indiscriminate? Well, who cares about that? Have any of these made it into the news? Easiest way is actually just to reply. Woohoo! Has this person been arrested? Curses! Why are they so slow? Now, I know what some people might be thinking. Hey, Lord Seth, isn't it pretty vicious of you to be destroying computers of these companies and for getting people arrested for crimes they didn't commit? Well, look, guys, let me explain something. Hacking is a victimless crime. As long as you ignore the victims, of course, but still, a victimless crime. Ooh, let's set it to normal speed. Here's something interesting. High-ranking agent raises doubts over ARC. One of the top-ranking uplink agents has broken the silence over the recent activity of ARC, Andromeda Research Corporation, and raised doubts over the morality of the work being done. The announcement comes less than a month after ARC began recruiting all the top agents, except for me, for work on some unspecified project. The man in question, known as Agent Deathstalker, is on... is... on one of the top-rated agents in the world? Is on one of the top-rated agents... In, ranked agents in the world? Typo! And is well-respected throughout the hacker community. He states that, We don't know anything about this company, ARC. Some of the company that I've... Some of the work I've seen done for them is highly suspicious. Yeah! Yeah, you know, like all the other work you're doing. Destroying computers, framing people. Yeah, of course. This is more suspicious. And could be used in a very destructive manner if properly exploited. Yes, like destroying computer systems isn't a highly destructive manner. ARC is relying on the unofficial code of honor of, of uplink agents that they won't dis discuss what they were working on. Someone needs to come forward and explain what this company is up to. Well, we're number one. And that's where we're ending this part.